Good day guys. Welcome back to your tutorial. If you have been practicing in the last few days, few weeks, after our first batch of, uh, of uh, review tutorials, you must have your your house at this time. So now, anong kulang pa natin? We haven't done our annotations and we haven't prepared the sheet. So <clears throat> in this lesson, we'll be doing preparation of your sheet, which will include um, our, our tutorial and annotations, preparing your grid, dimensions, spot elevation, coordinates, tagging, keynotes, text, duplicating views, and of course, adjusting your overall presentation. So you must have had your, your 3D view, and, uh, and on my part, I've just added a few um, a few windows just to make the, the house look complete. And if you notice, if I go to my elevations, let's look at the east elevation. That's how my east elevation look like now. Okay, if I'm, I'm satisfied with this uh, um, um, view, I can very well accept it. But if I want to crop it in, uh, I can show the crop region and maybe I would like to limit my elevation view up to here only so you can just pull it and, and pull it up yeah. okay so that looks okay maybe a little bit more here and maybe you want to pull your uh, levels a little bit away from the uh, drawing area okay then you can click again the hide crop region para hindi makita yung uh, boundaries okay let's check the other elevation or elevation so on the north elevation you can do the same so one thing you can do uh, especially when the site elevation is blocking the, the building and you don't want to show the building you can select the elements and you can say hide in view category the entire plan, the entire trees can be uh, hidden and if you don't want to show the uh, boundary wall here you can just say hide the elements okay so it can show your building and how it should look like so for example yung isang elevation and I'm pretty much happy with this. Maybe I'll just hide the. Um, I will just hide the boundary wall. That is blocking my building. Okay. Hide nothing. Okay. Then pretty much this is okay. And look at the other elevation. Again and then. Same thing. that and pull that over there I just long that in and click it right there and yeah. unhide that okay. so it's a good practice for you right so if you want to hide only some of the trees select them click control to select multiple trees and right click hide and view elements only okay and then let's click that again Elevations are okay now, and this big tree is blocking our way. Hide that in. Okay, and then let's get that. Just nothing. It should look well. Pretty good now. Actually, sometimes you want to show your trees in the elevation so, because it gives an element of scale to the building itself. Okay. 
So we'll keep that uh, section line there because it's a good reference since we're doing a uh, presentation drawings. It's easy to understand where those uh, section lines are, are referred to. In the natin yung section, we have only one section that looks like that right now. That's fine. I did not in it. Okay. And let's create another section. Okay. Let's go to the uh, ground level. We have one section which is uh, crossing our x axis. And let's create another one along the stairs, perhaps. Yeah. Alam ko, mga architects. Uh, very much permit, uh, very much concerned when you cut a section, you wanted to cut through your staircase. Pero um, when, you, when you're back in college and when you're starting your career, you don't want to cut a section along the stairs that line you go in. But this time in Revit, it's, it's very easy to do it. So that's another section. We just right click that and you go to view. And it's a nothing section. And of course, you have a very... Uh, detailed staircase and very accurate section as it's done in your Revit software. Okay, that looks good. And uh, mind you, on the next uh, series of, uh, of tutorials, we'll be doing the very basic structural. We'll use the same project and we will do the, the structural footings, the beams, the columns, and uh, the steel truss for the roof okay that would be um probably six to eight um, six to eight uh, tutorial videos that will be coming very soon so i hope you stay following and uh, um sharing this video para mas marami tayong uh, maturuan as maraming matuto all for free so we've had our sections uh, ready, elevations are ready. Um, okay. Now let's go to annotations. Ano ba yung mga annotations? Of course, um, let's start with the grid. Go to our ground level floor plan. Normally we, we have our grid. So we'll just do simple grid. You're in your architecture tab. The grid is right here. Click on that. And then let's start creating the grid. We'd like it to be in the middle of this wall. So let's have that first grid right there. And then the second grid is probably here. Third grid is here. Along this. The fourth grid, let's take it in the middle of this wall. Yeah. Another one here. And another one right there. Of course, you would still want to have another grid here, but uh, we can do that later on. So, Litayo, on the side, let's have that grid here. Another one here. Another one right here. So, Lito 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 Lito. Okay. And then, of course, you can have another grid that follows that. So, kung gusto mong i-align, madali lang man yung i-align. You will align there, and this will have to align right there as well. And when you have that line, you can pull that all the way to the other side. The others can be like that. Pwede na natin siyang ma-align over there. So, maybe you'll ask, pwede bang i-copy na lang yan? Pwede naman. But, uh, let's say you want to copy one of the grid copy this grid you can select copy and then have that then you have another grid but of course that iba yung number nyan because it, it will not uh, okay you can click that to break it to give proper spacing to your Grid. So maybe we can name the rename the grids now. Then the rest of the guys is pulled in here. So 
So actually, uh, preparing your sheet is the easiest part in Revit. So this is usually in the end of the of the training session we are teaching this. Um, and, and then we can rename the other axis and we can this can be A, it can be B, and then C. and E. Okay. I hope I don't run out of time. So trying to keep 10 minute videos for you. So meron na tayong grid ngayon. And if you might ask, bakit, can we put another bubble? Can we reverse the bubble location? Of course, you select that, check the other side, pwede mo siyang, you can keep the the, the grid bubble on the other end. So it's just that box right there. Tick and untick the box. Okay. So kapag ginawa natin yan on the ground floor level, the first floor level will have the same grid. Okay. So hindi ka nagkakapi ng grid from one level to another level. Even in the roof level, you can see all those grid. Okay. Site, it will be there as well. So that's your grid. Dimensions. Dimensions. Only as a ground level. We'll have the annotation tab, have the uh, aligned um, dimension. You can click on each of that. Align mo lang. And there you go. Tapos. Tuloy lang. That's how easy it is. Okay. You want an overall dimension? You can have an overall dimension right here. Diba? Don't adjust. Hilahin mo lang po. Ano ka na? Put it. Put it down. Just to... Arrange it properly. Maybe you need to pull them up. Yeah. Para lang ma ay sa isang presentation natin. Okay. There's your dimension. I'll not put all the dimensions. At least you know now how to put the dimensions. So that's uh, the first part. Um, I'll see you on the second part of this video for the continuations continuation of the annotation and uh, completing your completing your presentation for your sheet thank you very much